So it seems as though our luck is now changing. How cool is this? From a water buck and a couple of birds to warthogs going home for the evening. And now a herd of elephants. And who knows what they're up to. They're very busy creatures, constantly on the go. Let me reverse for you, Seb, and we can get an even better view. So I think we're going to follow these elephants. What do you think about that? Yeah. And yeah Good, because she didn't have a choice. No, she... <laughs> <laughs> Just, <geez. laughs> uh, right, that was funny. Let's carry on. Oh, there's some little ones coming. Not any teeny tiny lots that look like, you know, they are uh, just been born, unfortunately. But a, couple, a few that are a couple of months old and hopefully will provide us with some entertainment. Because like the hippos normally get quite excited at the last uh, sort of bit of light, I've noticed that young elephants do exactly the same thing. Hello, everyone. And they seem fairly relaxed, considering the horrid wind. Oh, here we've got a, a curious one. My absolute favorite. You're not coming over to say hello. Perhaps you've heard stories about me. Maybe from yesterday when I chased off an elephant bull that mock charged me and was saying horrible things about me. But don't worry, I won't chase you unless you're ugly to me. Then I won't say any ugly things back at you. And I think it's important when you're around elephants to try and sort of emit a positive attitude. I really do think that they can pick up on your body language quite a bit. Now we move even just a little bit further forward because there's a youngish calf and I suspect that they're going to walk sort of this way. And maybe the rest of them will come around us. It's quite a big herd. It's very difficult to sort of tell how many there are, but just from scanning around as you watch this youngster feed behind its mother, there's some naughty young young bulls that are coming this way, and they seem to be pushing and shoving each other. So hopefully they're going to push and shove each other when they come this side too. It's just a bit far for us to see, but they're, they just can't, well not they can't, they don't seem to stop sort of filtering out towards us. They're everywhere. But again, all the elephants that we're seeing at the moment, all the females, and I don't know if you've been noticing this, you might be able to go back and have a look at your screenshots. Okay, maybe not all the females, but majority of the cows are secreting from their temporal glands, which I find fascinating. And I wonder if it, if it is just and, and we were true, I briefly touched on this, and the fact that the vegetation is not as nutritious as what it normally is in the summer months, but it's still not very bad. I mean, we're almost at the end of August. There's still a lot of vegetation around. Yes, the grass is yellow, but the trees have still got a few leaves on them. I mean, they haven't really even started bulldozing trees over and digging for roots. We're seeing them stripping bark here and there, but um, not anything you know, out of the the ordinary. And I'm, I'm sure after the drought, which we've we just come out of, if life should be a little bit easier, I mean, there's still water around all this type of thing. And I'm sure there'll be enough water in the, the pans. It'll come close, but I think that there'll still be a bit of water about for them to drink. I think we're very lucky that we can traverse on Chitwa because that dam will stay full all year round. And when the other pans start to dry up that's where they'll go to and because it's so big as well that water's constantly moving and it'll take a lot longer for it to get to that, that sort of putrid stage where it's not particularly nice then of course Gallego pan is also pumped so we should start to see more and more elephant activity right around and on our doorstep hello girl would you like me to move out the way for you have you got another route in mind no she's being sort of pushed by this elephant bull, young bull from behind. She's moving away from him. I'm just going to sit up quickly. Now, Dalresh, you're wondering um, who is more... No, I've missed that. I can't... Sorry, Megan, it went in one ear and out the other. I apologize. That was terrible listening skills on my behalf. <laughs> oh, there we go. So... Delray, as you're wondering who's more curious, male or female elephants? Uh, you know what? I actually am going to not even, it doesn't even depend on the sex to me. It depends on the age. That's what I'm going to say. But of course, there's always ifs and buts and, you know, the exceptions. But I find that young elephants, sort of younger than six months, are often quite curious and they don't understand what we are just yet. And they try and work out whether we um, well, are wear a toy 
or whether they can intimidate us or sort of what their plan is. And then you get the next set at about 10 years old or so. And I, I've noticed typically with, this is now obviously sex dependent, the females that are obviously sort of pre-puberty, uh, when they start becoming sexually mature, obviously lots of hormones flushing through their system. And um, unfortunately we notice they throw a lot of temper tantrums. And we've had many encounters with young teenage females come around the car very curious. Uh, and not necessarily always nasty, but again, trying to intimidate us is quite quite entertaining, of course. And then and then they move on once they get bored. And then the next set, I find, is the young elephant bulls that are about to get pushed out of the herds, or the ones that have been pushed out. They either come over the bigger bulls, and like we experienced yesterday, and shake their heads and try and intimidate us. Obviously, we don't put up with nonsense like that, especially from a young elephant bull. We've got to curb that behavior around the cars. And then the younger elephants, just sort of being, before they get pushed out, they're quite curious. They come over and they smell the cars. You know, but again, most of the time, elephants don't uh, really want to interact in a negative way with us. We don't want that, and we, and we try and leave all sightings on a positive basis. Again, with a few exceptions, when you have a young naughty bull and you need to tell him no, 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 and then you might not be the way you wanted to leave, but that's just one of those things. Very fine that he'd been shouted at by 10 different cars on that same day. But they're moving, they're moving particularly quickly, sort of a general speed that an elephant will do. They'll feed every now and then. Uh, so put their heads down, like, heads down, and their trunks really go down to the ground. Pick up a lot of vegetation. They're feeding on different things. Some are feeding on leaves, some are feeding on grass. Those two, see, what are you tucking into? That little one seems to be fighting something just from the swaying of its head. Oh, it must have been a tough piece of grass that it was trying to pull up. There we go. Not really wanting. Are you going to eat the rest of those roots? Or are you going to pop it on the ground? A big herd of elephants. And I noticed that the clashing of tusks caused Seb's attention. So we're going to try and find those youngsters. So while we reposition, I'm going to send you all the way to Kenya with Brent and the cheetah.